Um, is it me or does this look like EC3? So we're in Metropolis, Illinois, which is about 15 miles away from my, where my grandmother Lillian lived in the 80s and 90s in Karnak, Illinois. So I used to come over here when I was a teenager. My father would drop me off for a couple of weeks and go do whatever he would do. And so I'd wander around Metropolis. We'll have, like that one has etching in the middle of the circle. Right. And that represented like your craft or what, you know, something about you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is a Masonic spinner, which I never have ever seen one of these before. Uh, at the bar, you spin it, and whoever it lands on has to pay. Oh, nice. And Metropolis was named long before uh, Superman, so I think they kind of posthumously claimed, say, this is where Superman was from. I don't know. I was pointing at Superman's penis. So one of the legends of my extended family is that someone, through marriage and uh, other marriage, uh, bought one of the original Superman costumes. This member of my family paid, I believe, over a million dollars and ultimately found out that what he bought um, was just a complete fraud. So it became this sort of running joke, uh, hey, where's, uh, why aren't you wearing Superman's cape to Christmas dinner and stuff like that. There's a correlation, some believe, between Mary Magdalene having Jesus' baby, her fleeing the eyes on Provence, and ultimately Scotland, and then this, and the connection with Scottish Rites and Freemasons. So, I'm certainly no expert, but there's some interesting connections there that are, like why are all these places all over America, and nobody even knows what they do. Is it me or does this look like EC3? You do look like EC3, oh, good champ. So we're in uh, Hopkinsville, Kentucky, where my grandmother was born, Grandma Lillian, and uh, we're at the graveyard where she's buried. She passed away about three years ago at the age of 102 and was a big uh, part of my life, big influence on me, particularly where it came to reading and the arts. Oh wow, that's a good sign. There was an owl outside my window when my son was being born. So anyway, owls are auspicious um, for many reasons. This was the temporary placeholder before they had a headstone, and this is the first time I'm seeing the headstone. It's weird they used her 
maiden name because she never used it. And this is my great great grandfather who took care of my grandmother when she was young because her father died. It's a pretty crazy story because my great grandmother who died before I was born was um, raking the leaves and was wearing like a polyester um, house coat and um, somehow she had started a fire to burn the leaves and the fire caught her house dress and asphyxiated her and then she fell over and died in the fire. It's quite awful. I have some newspaper clip about it that I got from my grandmother's estate. There's definitely a southern gothic element to my family's tragedies that's been hard at times to overcome. As far as feeling, um, like my father used to call it the Corgan Curse. There was some sort of plague on the family. And even Bono once told me he believed in the idea of the sins of the fathers, that the idea of the sins of the fathers carry for seven generations. He said it was a biblical idea, I don't know my Bible too well, but but it's certainly been hard at times and I think anybody can understand that if you if you grow up in a family that feels the universe is against it, it's like it sort of seeps into your consciousness and of course we all go through things that make us question whether or not we're the, the forces of the world are working against us. So it's been very difficult for me personally to not think that way and sort of be a positive thinker. I'm definitely working on my grandmother's version of life, which is stay positive and live past 100. Shall we never more go holding, never hear thy laughing voice again? When the springtime comes, gentle Lenny, and the wildflowers are scattered over the like that old blues song, See That My Grave Is Kept Clean.